right, so I'm up in the mountains again. Uh, I got the shelter. If you've been following my bushcraft series, you can see the two videos uh, that I put together that showing uh, me putting this shelter together, the framework and everything. But uh, this video is kind of more about the camp experience and uh, getting set up and camping overnight in the shelter. So I still got a few things to do before this evening come, uh, before it gets dark and uh, it looks like maybe we got possibly some weather moving in. Uh, it was kind of sunny when I got here this morning, but uh, now it's about mid-afternoon and it's uh, pretty much clouded over, ever, completely clouded over. So I need to finish getting the fire put in. As you can see right now, um, I did dig out a spot down to bare earth and now I just need to uh, set up a little reflector uh, that I can use to kind of reflect the heat back into my tarp setup. I also need to uh, just finish some things in here. Just I've got some um, boughs that I uh, took down when I trimmed up these trees uh, on each side of me. And I'm just gonna lay them down inside here and then I'll put my bivy and, and sleep mat and everything on top of them. And their main, main purpose of them is just to keep my bivy and everything from getting dirty. So, but anyhow, I wanna get this fire, I wanna kinda get this fire thing set up and get it going and I still need to gather a bunch of wood. So that's kinda where we're at and uh, I need to get busy. All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just walking around trying to find pieces of dead wood like this. Um, ones that are nice and waterlogged they actually are kind of nice uh, to use to build up my build up my fire reflector so I just need to go grab it walk around and grab a few more chunks like this and I'll have my just about have my fire reflector done all right so I'm done building my fire reflector and it's not very high and the reason why is I'm probably going to tear this thing down and rebuild it the next time I come up here. And I want to move the camera around to where you can get a better view of the whole camp. And I'm going to show you a reason why. And that's because I found a slight uh, problem with the way I've kind of got uh, things set up. So let me move the camera and then we'll, we'll look at and I'll show you what, uh, what, what's wrong with this setup. All right, so now that you can see the whole setup here, uh, the problem that I'm going to have here with the fire pit the way it is and the tarp on this side is this tree. Now when I originally set this up I was thinking to myself okay this tree is going to add some natural cover and so I'll put the tarp on this side to take advantage of that. But the problem is I've got these branches overhead here and they are direct, uh, fairly close and over where my fire is going to be at. So I had to actually move the fire pit back further than I want as you can see. I'm a good solid two paces uh, with the reflector from my fire and I'd really like to have it a little bit closer and so that my fire would be more along the lines of right here and my reflector probably more along the lines of right here so um, that I would get more heat from the fire. As it is right now, I was forced to kind of move everything out. Um, so next you know, next time I come up here, what I'm going to do is instead of having the tarp on this side of the framework, I'm going to move the tarp over to this side of the framework, uh, and I'll trim a couple of branches on this tree, but it will allow me to have the fire uh, and the reflector a little bit closer where I can achieve more heat from it. And that will probably be better anyways because, I've, because of the fact that this tree is providing me natural shelter, the side that's open on the framework will still have some amount of um, shelter. Uh, because of this tree. So I think that will be a better setup all and all together. Now I'd also planned anyhow to rebuild this fire reflector just because of the fact that I kind of want one that's going to kind of circle a little bit more around the camp. And I didn't have time to do that today anyway so the fact that I'm going to rebuild this um, next weekend is not a big deal. And the fact that it's not real big is not real big problem today or tonight because it's really fairly warm. It's not going to get that cold and I don't plan on having the fire going all night long um, to, to stay warm. But if I am out here and it gets it starts getting down pretty cold, I do want it a little bit closer and I want to get a little bit more of a half moon effect around so that way I can get more heat into my shelter. All right, so I've come down to this little creek here. It's not too far from my camp and I'm going to fill my dromedary bag full of water for the night so that I have hopefully enough water for food and some tea tonight and also 
be able to uh, get me some food and tea in the morning so I don't have to come down here first but I may have to I mean I may not have enough but like I said I'm gonna get this thing full and then I'm also going to top off my water bottle too and make sure that it's full and drink and also drink my fill of water so that um, I don't have to come down here again at least tonight all right all right so what I'm doing here is these are the ch uh, dry chips of wood that I was able to get out of the logs that I uh, bucked up today with the axe and these are all nice and dry so what I'm going to do is use them and process them, them down into some feathers and some small kindling that I can use to help kind of get my fire going. Alright, so yeah, it's gotten obviously really dark. I finally got to a point now that I can, uh, I got my food cooking on the fire and some water uh, getting ready to boil and I uh, got my bivy and everything in the location. I'll try to show you that more in the morning since it's so dark at right now. But um, I also piled up a stack of firewood uh, between the fire and the fire reflector to try to get it to dry out because so much of the wood is is wet but yeah it's just been a busy day so finally it's kind of nice to to be in a spot that where I can kind of relax and and um, enjoy the fire and eat some food I'm I'm just absolutely starving I've got uh, what's in the tin foil there if you notice that in the fire um, is some leftovers from the night before some bits of steak and onion and mushrooms and and uh, turnip um, in there and so I'm just going to rewarm that on the fire and get some hot tea going and I'm just going to sit back and relax for the rest of the night. So I thought I'd show you guys real quick what's for dinner tonight. Uh, again some, some steak bits and mushroom and turnip and and it's all in butter and uh, olive oil. Should be really good. Anyways I'm going to get to eating it while it's hot. And I will talk to you guys later. Alright, so I think I'm going to call it a night. It's uh, a little bit before 9, which is fairly early, but uh, I'm exhausted. I ate some, drank some tea. My fire is going really well, and I put a couple big, lo really big logs on it. I don't expect it to last through the night by any means, but it'll at least keep it going for a little while, and hopefully... Uh, when I wake up in the morning, there will be coals that make it uh, easy to start. So, so anyhow, we'll just call it a night, and I will see you guys in the morning. Mm -hmm.